58 Pontiac Bonneville convertible. You know, I think that we can sort of put to rest any thought that 1950s cars in general have sort of reached their value peak. <laughs> Not true. A whole new generation of enthusiasts is embracing these wild designs, including the 58 Bonneville. So it's top of the line for Pontiac in 1958. A one-year only displacement. That was 370 cubic inches. And with the optional three two-barrel setup, putting out a pretty stout for the time period, 300 horsepower. Four-speed hydromatic transmission. Restored back in 87 but it's still fresh. Boy, Oldsmobile is pushing the rocket theme, but look at the side molding on this. Yeah. If that doesn't look like a rocket with uh, the flame trailing out behind it as you look at the side of that Pontiac, I don't know what does. JK, are those extensions of the turn signals just behind each door that are inset into the bodywork, or is that just me? Like, like a little cove right there behind that chrome. Yeah, like the jet exhaust? Yeah. The rocket exhaust? No, it's not okay. a turn signal. Okay. Go ask it to turn the turn it signal It should have been. Yeah. <laughs> yes. They're just reflectors then. 180. He got it. 180. 180. 180. 175. 180. 175. 175. 175. 175. 175. Got 72. You want to be 75 or no? Well, I'm 75. Yeah! No, I'm 75. <laughs> That's Jim Wicks in the uh, purple shirt. We've seen him before here today and at other auctions. A terrific guy. Uh, very well respected in the collector car world. And this particular Pontiac Bonneville goes in the books for $175,000. Well, and I totally have to market my idea. I'll have a conversion kit for your 58 Bonneville. <laughs> <laughs> 